if we're going to draw a line, if we're going to graph a line on the rectangular coordinate system, we really have to identify two points on that line. Any two points can identify a line because we can draw a straight line through those two points, and it's the only line that can go through both of those points. So let's take and plot our first line. We're going to plot the points 3, 4, and negative 2, negative 2 on the graph below, and then we're going to draw the line that goes through both of those points. First, I start in the center of my graph, and I count x. Remember, it's x, y, okay? So I'm going to put that down so you can remember it. x, comma, y. So I'm going to go positive 3, 1, 2, 3. I'll go over 3, and then I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's where my first point exists. Now, 3, comma, 4, I'm going to label it because it's easy to get messed up. It's a 3, positive 3 in the x direction, positive 4 in the y direction. And I can see that it's in quadrant 1 where everything is positive, positive. So that makes sense. I put it in the right place. The next point, start in the center of your graph where the axes cross and count negative 2 in the x direction. So on the x-axis, I'm going to go to the left, 1, 2. And then I'm going to go down on the y. Y direction is up and down. I'll go down 2, point, two places. There's negative 2, negative 2. I'll label it negative 2, comma, negative 2, so I don't get confused. I know what point I have plotted. How do I find a line? Well, usually it's easy if you can take a ruler, but you draw a line that goes through both of those points. Now, that line is really keeps on going. You could put arrows on the end of it if you wanted to because it goes to infinity on both sides. But a straight line through both of those points is represented by those two points. You can tell there's a lot more lines than just those two, but we only need two points to represent a line. So if we have an equation and we don't know any of the points on it, how do we draw the line? Example number one shows us what we have to do. First, we're going to pick some points or pick some coordinates and solve the equation for the other coordinates so that we can find points on this line. Now, when you do this, you only need two to, to graph a line, but it's a good idea to try a third one just as your checkup, your checkpoint, your backup point, just to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. First, I'm going to pick a value for x. I'm going to choose a value for x because, look, y, the equation has already been solved for y. In other words, y is over there isolated all by itself. It'll be easier for me to do this if I pick a value for x. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x. I'll write it here in my little chart so I remember what I've done. And when I do that, my equation is y is equal to negative 4 times 0. Well, now I can solve for y because I only have one unknown variable. y, therefore, is equal to 0. Well, there's the first point on my graph, 0, 0. I'll go ahead and draw it and label it. It's in the very center of the graph, of course. So let's see, I need another point. What value would you choose for x? This time, I think I'll choose another number that's pretty easy. How about I choose the number um, 1 for x? If I choose 1 for x, y is going to equal negative 4 times 1, or y will equal negative 4. So, another point on my line is 1, positive 1 for x, negative 4 for y, so I'll have to go down 1, 2, 3, 4 points. Here's 1, negative 4. Now, that would really be enough for me to graph my line, and I could put a straight uh, ruler or something here, and I could pretty much draw a straight line, but I really want to check. I want my third point because I want to see. I want to make sure that I've drawn it right, and I want to see that my third point is on that line. How about if I choose a negative 1 for x this time? Because that would be easy to solve. y is equal to negative 4 times negative 1 gives me a y equal to a positive 4 this time. Well, where is the point negative 1, positive 4? In the x, on the x-axis, I go to the left 1. That's a negative 1. Then I'll go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's the point. It's going to be negative 1, 4. So it did fit right on my line, and I'm pretty sure if I graph three points and they're all in a straight line, that I've done it correctly. So you get to do a couple of... Uh, uh, graph, graph a couple of lines by point plotting on this page. And what I really want you to do is to follow the steps that we've done at the first, at the top of the page. First, you're going to pick a value for the equation. You're going to plug in either a value for x or a value for y. 
and then you're going to solve the equation for the one that you didn't plug in the number for. Then you'll plot the point, you'll repeat the steps. Probably it's a good idea to plot three points so you can check yourself. So you'll do it three times. And there's a hint for you. Number four says pick numbers that make the equation easy to solve. What you can usually do that makes it easier for you to solve is to pick a value for the, the variable that the equation is not solved for. In other words, if x or y is isolated on one side of the equation, you want to pick a value for the other variable. That will make it easier to solve. Let's look at number two. It's y is equal to negative x plus 2. Well, I'm going to pick a value for x because y is already isolated all over here by itself. So I'm going to choose an x value. And I'll say for this one, I like 0. x is 0. That's always an easy one to solve. Or usually it's an easy one to solve. y is equal to negative 0 plus 2 is how it would plug in. Well, that's just 0 plus 2. So y is just equal to 2. There's one of my points. 0, positive 2 is graphed right here on my rectangular coordinate system. Now, another one. Let's pick something for x again. Since y is over there by itself, we don't want to have to solve for x. So y, x could be, let's try just a 1 this time. There's a negative in front of it, so we're still going to say y is equal to a negative 1 plus 2. And when I add those two together, I get a y of just 1. Now, Pay attention to this one because negative is already in our equation. We plugged in a positive number, but it did make the term negative 1, okay? Where, do we, where is 1, 1? Well, we go positive 1x, positive 1y. It's going to be right here. Those two are kind of close together, so I'm not real sure of my line at this point. But I can go ahead and draw it because I think I know where it's going to go. If I put the line through both of those... It looks like this. Let's plot a third point just to be sure. Let's see if I can come up with a third point where x is the number. Let's try 3. When x is a 3, what is y? Well, y is equal to a negative 3 plus 2. Well, y is equal to a negative 3 plus 2. y is equal to a negative 1. So where would 3, negative 1 be? 3 to the right on the x-axis and negative 1 would be right here. We would go down on the y, in the y direction. I've got 3, negative 1. All three points look like they're on my line. Since I did three points instead of two, I'm pretty sure that I'm right. And I can go on to example number three. Now, if you haven't done example three, you might want to take a minute and do this one. This time, it's not quite so easy to solve or to pick the value because both x and y are on the same side of the equation. So you might want to pick some numbers that are going to make it easy to solve. I would say picking a number for y and plugging in for y might make it easier in this case than to plug in a number for x. But you can try a few. And if you come out with numbers you don't like, you can try something else. If you end up with a fraction, it's okay. You can usually still graph a fraction. Or you can try a different point. You can try a different variable, a different co um, number. First, let's see if I can't plug in 0 for y, because that looks like it's going to make my math really easy. x plus 3 times 0 equals 6, and of course that's going to say x is equal to 6. So my first point is fairly simple for me to find. 0, I mean, I'm sorry, 6 on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it takes me 0. I don't have to go anywhere. So this one is really... Uh, it's an intercept. It's right there on the line, 6, 0. Next, let's see if I can find something that's going to make it equally easy for me to solve. What could I put uh, for y that would make it simple? Uh, what about 1? If I say x plus 3 times 1 equals 6, well, that's x plus 3 equals 6. And I have to subtract 3 from both sides to solve this equation. So x is now equal to 3. That wasn't too bad. So my second point would be positive 3 to the right 3 and up 1. There's 3, comma, 1. Now I can go ahead and draw my line. I think I'll go ahead and see if I can't find another point, though. What else would I be able to do? Why don't I see if I can plug in 0 for x this time, just for the fun of it? I'll put 0 plus 3y equals 6. 
Well, I'm in good shape because 3y equals 6. All I have to do is divide both sides by 3. And 6 is evenly divisible by 3, so I do come up with a whole number, 2. Y is 2. So the other point is the other intercept. It hits the other axis. It's 0, 2. And there's 0, 2 on my graph. Let's see, if I line them up, and if I did it correctly, I can draw my line, and it goes through all three points. So I've correctly graphed. 